on Guardians, I am Captain Red Trip One, back with another Destiny video. Today I wanted to talk about the Fang of Irayut. It is a scout rifle that I got from Crota on hard mode. It does do 331 damage. Rate of fire is pretty good for a scout rifle. The impact is decent, the range is really good, and it has a good scope to help that. Stability is not bad, um, there's better ones out there, but it's not terrible. Reload's good, and the magazine is 27, but that's with a perk later. It starts you out at 15. You got arc damage, which is really nice. You got three different scopes here. Um, the, true, uh, the true sight there, it throws up some iron sights in the front. I don't really care for it. I'll let you look at it right there. It's just not my cup of tea. I like the red dot, a lot of peripheral vision to help me. Um, I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad sight. It's just not my favorite on the gun. I usually go with the first one or the last one, the red dot here. Kind of like that one. Like the big box and open area when looking down the sights. And then the last one, I use this one for like the bridge on Crota. It's really nice to have some extra range. Almost turns this thing into a mini sniper rifle. Really solid. Really like it. Um, so let's get into the perks. Spray and play. This one increases the reload speed when your magazine is empty. And then you got target mark. And I'll show you this one here. It's a little bit different. Um, I don't think it's that great of a perk. I think they could have done a lot more with it. I can't really see it on the shank because one shot kills it. But once you hit a target, it basically shoots a beam in the air to where you can kind of follow them. Um, the bad thing is, if they hide behind something that's really tall, you still can't see the beam. I think this would be really helpful against the sword bear in Crota, if the beams maybe shot out sideways, or if it was a little bit wider. As you can see there, you can see him behind the rock. So, it helps you follow a guy a little bit better if he's ducking behind cover. But, I don't know, it's just not a perk that I would use all the time. Again, I think they could have done something a lot different with it to make it better, especially with the sword bear. Sword bear ducks behind rocks all the time. He's dodging left and right. You're trying to down him as fast as possible. I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. Well, let's get back into it. I'm going to do the spray and play. I'm going to shoot a few times, reload well. It's still got bullets in the magazine. Fairly slow. I'm going to dump the magazine here. And you can see how much faster it really is. Worth it. <laughs> it really is. So let's get back to it. You got one of five upgrades. You got high caliber rounds. Um, stagger targets. You got perfect balance, which is pretty nice. But the last one, I think, just wins overall. The field scout jumps you from 15 to 27. That's a pretty big jump. You got third eye, which for me personally, I don't use it that much. I have, I found myself using it more in the nightfall. But when I'm just messing around, not that big of a deal. It also does extra damage to hive ultras. So I really like this gun. I, w I really wish it had full auto and then I would just recycle my vision of confluence. It shoots a lot slower, it shoots a lot farther, and the stability is a little bit worse when comparing to the Vision of Confluence. So I wouldn't say delete your Vault of Glass scout rifle just yet, but I think it's a very, very solid weapon. Um, I use it when I raid. Not bad. I was really excited to get this. I've actually got two of them, and I'm upgrading my second one now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review on the Fang of Iriut. It's a really solid weapon if you find it on Crow to Hard. Keep it upgraded. Um, guys, if I don't catch you later, I'll catch you online.